Honorable Ministers from ACP States, Dr. Mukesha Kutui, Secretary General of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, our dear host, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and Heads of Diplomatic Missions accredited to Geneva, distinguished representatives of the ASP Group's development partners, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me to speak on behalf of the ASP Group at the 10th World Investment Forum 2018 on this important theme, investing in sustainable development. I am delighted to state from the outset that this is not the first time such an initiative is organized by the ASP Group of States and UNCTAD, so as to enable our ACP ministers to engage in a special discussion session on matters related to investment and development. The first time was on 24 June 2015 at the ASP House during an ACP Trade Minister's session for the official launch of the World Investment Report 2015. The opinion of ASP ministers are both relevant and important in view of both the characteristics and number of countries they represent. The ASP Group of States and its constituent countries still cope with the triple challenges of one, meaningful socio-economic transformation necessary for the creation of decent jobs for its youth and women, two, economic, social and physical integration within and between ASB regions, and thirdly, environmental sustainability and resilience. Investment and trade as a cross-cutting field are indeed effectively linked to many other important areas, including poverty eradication, employment, infrastructure, investment, environmental issues, industry, agriculture, food security, education and health. Trade and investment policies therefore often work in silos. In the context of global value chains, they can have unintended and counterproductive reciprocal effects. To avoid this, ACP policymakers, where necessary, with the help of international organizations such as UNCTAD, have resolved to carefully review those policy instruments that simultaneously affect investment and trade in global value chains, that is, the trade measures affecting investment and investment measures affecting trade. Furthermore, at the institutional level, the trade and investment links in global value chains call for clearer and closer coordination and collaboration between trade and investment promotion agencies. Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Agricultural and Industrial Subsidies, Trade Protectionism, Illicit Financial Flows, Recurrent Financial Crises Emanating from Advanced Countries, and Imbalances in Global Trade and Financial Architecture are global orders that ACB countries and other developing countries have to cope with. The ACP agriculture sector, upon which its socio-economic transformation is to begin, is now being consistently undermined by institutionalized subsidies from its key partners that negatively impact the most vulnerable of our farmers. Heightened trade and investment policy standards supposed to pave the way for the expansion and competitiveness of ACP private sector have so far translated into marginal achievements. Indeed, the ACP region contributes to less than 4% of global trade and accounts for less than 3% of global foreign direct investment stock. Furthermore, their advocated globalization and WTO-induced trade and investment policies have not always yielded positive results. For example, foreign capital is often directed only to the most lucrative segments of their econ economies without real socioeconomic linkage or technology spillovers. In addition, volatile and often unfavorable terms of trade for ACB states and illicit financial flows as a result of tax-based erosion and profit-shifting practices of foreign investors worsen the situation of our poor farmers. The question for the SB Group of States 
and its countries therefore have become the following. Which trade and investment policies to adopt in support of positive industrial transformation? And secondly, which trade, investment and industrial policies could ACP countries adopt to develop specific industrial clusters and value chains? Here we are already thinking of improved capital formation, the development of pools of skilled labor, technology adoption, and access to relevant infrastructure services. From these perspectives, the ACB Ministerial Roundtable on Investment Policy Coordination is timely and topical. It is important for ACB Ministers here today to express their views on the above listed issues so that their opinions can also be consolidated and integrated into the ongoing discussions aimed at concluding a new post-2020 cooperation agreement between the countries of Africa, the Caribbean and Pacific, and the European Union and its member states. In our view, there is no better equipped global development partner to provide insights and share good practices on these ASP countries' development challenges than the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, UNCTAD. Dear Ministers, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am pleased to recognize that over the years, UNCTAD and the ASP Group of States have cooperated on multiple occasions on agenda items, including recently on the framing of the joint ACP UNCTAD guiding principles for investment policy making, which calls for better policy coherence at the national and international levels and greater regional cooperation. This, from our perspective, is a tangible contribution to the World Investment Forum of 2018, whose theme, Investing in Sustainable Development, we are now going to address. I have no doubt that the ASP Group of States Ministerial Roundtable on Investment Policy Coordination, hosted by UNCTAD, will result in conclusive recommendations. In closing, all that is left for me to do is to thank UNCTAD and its Secretary General, Dr. Kutui in particular, for having kindly agreed to organize this meeting with ASB ministers here in UNCTAD headquarters in Geneva. It is our sincere hope that this initiative will be continued so as to ensure closer ties between UNCTAD, the ACB Secretariat, and the ACB member states. I wish you very fruitful deliberations and thank you for your kind attention.